I tried to simplify this as much as possible, but you can think about the pathophysiology of SAM as any force or factor that predisposes that anterior mitral leaflet to be drawn towards that interventricular septum. So I divide these into LV factors, specifically only LV contributors, and then factors that also involve the mitral valve. Let's start looking at the LV factors first. What qualities of the left ventricle can predispose to SAM after mitral valve repair? Well, think about this as a non-dilated, hypertrophied, and hyperdynamic ventricle. Certain things that can show up, especially on your echo boards, include LVEF greater than 65%. That's that hyperdynamic ventricle. A thick basal septum, especially if it measures greater than 1.5 centimeters. A small left ventricle as well, where you have an end systolic diameter less than 3.5 centimeters, or you have a left ventricular end diastolic diameter less than 4.5 centimeters. A non-dilated, hypertrophied, and hyperdynamic left ventricle all predisposed to SAM after mitral valve repair. There are also factors from the mitral valve as well that contribute to SAM after mitral valve repair. The first of which is the C-SEP distance. This is the coaptation septum distance measured in early systole of less than 2.5 centimeters. An aortomitral angle less than 120. I want you really to understand this just by thinking about it instead of memorizing it because as you lower that angle, that mitral valve anterior leaflet only gets closer to that interventricular septum. So anterior leaflet length greater than 2.5 centimeters. This is because when you have redundant anterior leaflet tissue, you have a redundant amount of tissue that's more likely to flop into that left ventricular outflow tract. A posterior leaflet length greater than 1.5 centimeters. This is relevant because when you have a longer posterior leaflet, well, this can push that location of the coaptation point towards the left ventricular outflow tract. But when you have a shorter leaflet, it actually pushes that coaptation point more posteriorly away from that left ventricular outflow tract. And another way to look at this is that anterior leaflet height to posterior leaflet height ratio less than 1.3. This is just one other way that looks at how posteriorly is that coaptation point located. Going back to our terms, this is based on the heights of the anterior and posterior mitral leaflets, not the 